This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Wow, autumn is already here, we're already into October. So let's go over my saxophone serenades of the month for September. Now sax serenades are something I do when I like a game enough that I wanna keep it in my gaming library. I induct it properly with a saxophone serenade. And this is a summary video basically showing you all the games that made my gaming library were essentially more or less the games I like the most, the best games for September. First was Tesla versus Edison Duel. This is a two player standalone game. This has, this is non-expansion to the original Tesla versus Edison game, but it is done by the same publisher and designer, uh, Artana Games. And this is a two player tactical card game uh, where you're gonna be drafting cards and you're gonna be trying to take over technologies, trying to take over stocks and try to take over different areas like New England or New York or the West Coast. And each of the different inventors you can possibly be uh, have a different specific win condition. So sometimes the game can end abruptly at the end of a round if you have fulfilled your win condition. So you're looking them trying to win yours but stop your opponent from getting theirs. And if neither of you get yours, it then goes to final scoring. So you're trying to have a bunch of different things you're thinking about. Very well designed game, very tight 30, 20 to 30 minute filler game that has a lot going on, very streamlined, very thinky, I loved this one. The next one is Saikatsu. This is a tile lane game from IDW for uh, two to four players. And in this game, you're laying tiles, beautiful tiles, beautiful board. And you're putting these tiles on a board and trying to score points immediately by having flocks of birds adjacent to your, uh, your place tile of the same type of bird. But you're also thinking about the end game because depending on the perspective of what you're looking at on the board you'll score a certain amount of up to a lot of points if you have the same type of flower going through your row the more flowers the more points so you're thinking about placing for points now versus points later and also trying to block your opponent's points later as well so even though it's a very simple beautiful tying lane game that finishes in about 30 minutes uh, it's one that has even more depth than one might imagine the next one is Claim. That is a two-player trick-taking game from designer Scott Alms. This is from White Goblin Games. And in this game, the best part about this is half the game, you're actually playing your cards and tricks to win specific cards that you'll then have for the second half of the game to actually play to try to get the points. Also, there's different suits, which are factions in the game, like goblins and undead and things like that. And each of them have special abilities. Some of them trigger in the first half of the game. Some of them trigger in the second half of the game. And they add a lot of variability and a lot of fun to the game. It's a very quick game. One game only takes about eight to 10 minutes, but usually we play a two out of three and it is a very fun two player trick taking game. And the last one is Queen Domino. This is the new standalone game coming out at Essen uh, that is a uh, sort of sequel to the Spiel des Arts winner King Domino from Blue Orange Games designed by Bruno Cathala. And this game is, uh, wow, I didn't actually give it the serenade during the video because I did a, a, a sneak peek and then I did a comparison video between this and King Domino, but it did make the library and uh, it's absolutely amazing. If you like King Domino at all, this takes that up to the next level where there's more choices, more things to think about. It's a deeper game. I'd call it a next step game where I think King Domino is a great gateway game. Plus you can mix the two together and play with more players, up to six players, maybe even eight. And you can even uh, play with larger grids with smaller players. Well, those are the games I kept for the month of September. We'll see you next month. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.